Hi, my name is Ashton O'Gorman and this is my LinkedIn screencast of my LinkedIn profile. My student number is N00193156. So to start off, I just have my photo, which I have set to represent who I am and just give people a visualization of my face <laughs> and my profile. Um, so to start off my employment history, I'm currently a supervisor in Omniplex Cinema Group in Arklow County Wicklow. I started this job in 2018 as a general employee, but I've currently worked my way up to be supervisor. I've worked here for two and a half years and I honestly love this job. I feel like this job gives me a better insight into approaching customers' needs and the best way to approach situations and manage groups and manage employees and get an understanding into the workings behind finance and responsibilities that a manager has to take on in order to have a successful business. As well as working as a supervisor in Omniplex, I'm also a student ambassador for IDT. This role allows me to represent my course arts management, which allows me to provide insights to future prospective students on, in the college and courses which are available for people to study. Continuing on with my employment history, in 2018 I did work experience in both Spin 1038 and Today FM. I found that working here gave me an understanding of marketing and broadcasting and the different techniques behind creating a successful smooth running show and business and I found that this cor this work experience actually pushed me that little bit more to get into the course I'm doing now and also gave me a bit of a push into my future plans to work in marketing. So my education history, I'm currently studying arts management in IDT. This course covers different aspects of the arts from the business side as marketing to the arts side such as theatre. I find that this course really has such a good range for different people with different potential job opportunities that they wish to seek after this course, after we graduate with our level 8 bachelor's honours degree. I also did two years of journalism which gave me an insight into writing and preparing work for the media and different publications. As well as that, I also have my leaving certificate behind me where I graduated from Glenar College in 2017. Then my headline and summary. So my headline is Ashna Gorman, student at IDT and supervisor at Omniplex Cinema Group. And then I just have the county which I'm currently living in and then my 500 connections and contact info. And then my summary is basically just an overview of the course I'm doing and the different experiences that I'm gonna get from graduating with this course. Uh, this course gives a deeper understanding of the arts and the business behind it all. And I just be outlined that after my studies, I hope to pursue a career in the marketing sector and that I'm just a hardworking, motivated person who enjoys working outside my comfort zones as well as catering to the customer's wants and needs. And I also outlined that working as a supervisor, it allowed me to gain an understanding of customers' needs and the best way to approach situations and engage with customers. I then also just added my email address to allow people to get in touch with me if they want more information or wish to just get in contact with me. And then as part of my module for marketing, I also had to complete an article which had to be published on LinkedIn. And I wrote about what it's like to be a student during the COVID-19 pandemic. This article has received received 39 likes, 18 comments and has 141 views, which I'm very happy with. Um, my article basically just over, overviews my experience as a student during this time and how different people have different expectations on themselves and how they feel that they need to better themselves and take this time to work on themselves. But this time is so uncertain that people also need to understand that it is not okay, or that it is, sorry, that it is okay to not be okay and that it's okay to be stressed, it's okay to be anxious, it's okay to not be bettering yourself or getting fit or changing your diet or anything and I just feel like a lot of people need to understand that, that that is the truth of it all and you can't be expected to change your life for the better during a pandemic with this heaviness attached to it and I just wanted students and lecturers and just fellow peers to understand that it is okay and I felt that by being honest within this article it would allow people to just understand that it's okay and that there's people out there who can relate to you and just understand it as well. Um, I also just thanked people for reading it and just basically just said that you shouldn't overwhelm yourself by trying to better yourself during this time and that you're not alone in anything that you are currently tackling. I then have 
my 500 plus connections, which I have 676 altogether. So I started my LinkedIn profile properly in March 2020. And over the course, of course, of the first lockdown, I spent a lot of time just trying to gain connections to try and understand what LinkedIn was and how I should be expressing myself on it and what kind of connections I should have and build up and what kind of image I want to do sell myself as basically online and what kind of profile I wanted to give people to view. So I've connected with people who have studied my course, who are studying marketing and business in different colleges, who work in this, these kind of sectors, as well as different friends and different family members as well who use LinkedIn. And I just find it's a good way to connect with people in a professional manner and to understand people's different goals and aspirations for their careers and different ideas and motivations they have to continue working and building themselves up for potential employers and job opportunities. I then have five LinkedIn groups, which I'm a member of. I am part of Event Planning and Management Association, which breaks down event planners and managing and marketing different ideas behind events. I am then a part of Marketing Communication, which is just a group which, as it says, just communicates about marketing and different parts of the marketing sector. I'm then also a part of marketing, social media, business and digital media. This group kind of focuses more on the digital marketing aspect of this sector and different social media ways to promote different ideas and advertise. And then I'm also a part of the IDT Arts Management Alumni, which is just a group set up for different students and lecturers who are involved in the arts management course. I'm then also a member of the digital marketing group, which like marketing and social media business, digital media, it's just a group set up for understanding what digital marketing is as well as understanding that there's marketing and digital marketing and that they can be differentiated but work together. And then my social selling index. So my industry SSI rank is 13%. And then, well, I'm in the top 13%. And then my network SSI rank is top 22%. So my current social selling index is 45 out of 100. And the four components of my score is establishing your professional brand, which I have 10.98. And then I have to find the right people, which is my top one with 13.04. And then I'm engaging with insights with 10.25 and then building relationships, which is 10.28. So the people in my industry have an average SSI of 21 and I'm currently ranking in the top 13%, which is down 2% since last week. And then the people in my network have an average SSI of 32 and I'm currently ranking in the top 22% of that with 32 out of 100, which is also down by 3% since last week. And then I just have a LinkedIn learning, which I completed to better my understanding of social media marketing online and different tips and ways to approach marketing online. And this kind of just, as it said, expanded my perspective on different skills in this area. And there you go. Thank you very much.